I'm here with legendary actor James Pickens Jr. You see him every week on Grey's Anatomy. Uh, what's that like working on such an iconic show that's really caught the, the, the attention, the awareness of, of so many fans each and every week on ABC? Uh, it's, it's been it's been life changing in a lot of ways. I mean, most actors will go their whole career and never experience anything like this. I've, I've truly been blessed by it. It's an, an iconic show and to be there from day one. I'm, Truly feel blessed by that. Uh, the, the show's changed a lot of lives. It's uh, it's become a, kind of the lexicon of television for the the, the new millennial, and uh, I'm just glad that I was have been a part of it. Mm -hmm. The mind of Shonda Rhimes is incredible. Uh, we've seen so many creatives like her and others. What's it like being in that space and really being able to really give that character of yours life and really be able to have an opportunity to to resonate, have other fans resonate with it. Oh. Uh, it's been, like I said, it's, it's, as an actor and as a creator, it's been amazing. Uh, uh, Shonda Rhimes is, is, as you know, probably the, the foremost content creator we have in the business right now. She's very, uh, she's very humble, still pretty shy about everything that's kind of gone on here. I'm so happy for her. I'm happy that I was there, kind of, quote unquote, at the beginning of the, her incredible journey and be a part of it and uh, to um, have a character that has resonated so with the, with the generation here for now and actually heading almost into our second decade. It's pretty amazing and I, can, I owe it all to her. You've had a very illustrious career as an actor. Take it back to working with the Hughes brothers in Minister Society and you and Samuel Jackson and that. How was that scene for you and how was just that exchange back and forth with the, uh, the gentleman like Samuel Jackson? Well, you know, Sam and I go back 40 some years we were uh, in New York together. We were in the original production of a soldier's play along with Denzel Washington. But Sam called me and said, Hey man, there's this film and they want me to do a piece on it. I want to know if you want to do it with me. I said, Okay, yeah. So a lot of that scene, most of that scene was improvised. And we just, we had a bit of a, we had a synopsis of what the scene was and we just kind of went with it and rolled. And, we, you know, it was like, you know, putting on an old comfortable pair of house shoes and you know, you're working with your buddy and we just kind of let it flow and let it happen and you know and now it's a piece of it's a piece of, of, of inner city culture you know so we had a good time doing it huge part of the culture and also you worked in uh gridlock with the late great tupac shakur what was that like seeing him just function seeing him work and seeing him being able to just be the person that you heard about but seeing it on screen you know i have to say he was very professional he came prepared to work. He was very engaging. He was uh, he was willing to try certain things and stuff, and uh, we just had a good time. And I just looked at him as another fellow actor, but he did a great job. We had a good time with the scene, and uh, uh, I would have would have loved to see where he'd be now if he was still alive. You know, so yeah, it was pretty cool. All right, the one and only. Thank you so much, sir. Appreciate your time.